Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so are you thinking about getting a GMT? Do you want a GMT? Do you like the aesthetic? You're waiting until the prices settle a bit before you get one? Well, it ain't gonna happen, okay? If you want a GMT, now's the time. Actually, yesterday was the time to get one. Um, but you can't go back in time. I'd like to as well. Uh, so your choices are get one today or get one tomorrow, and you best get one today. Now, when I got my GMT, it was a couple of years ago, and I paid seven for it, and 7,000 USD. And at the time, I had just gotten the sub for four and the Explore 2 for four. So I felt like I was getting ripped off. I mean, I was paying three grand for more and I knew that I'd missed the boat and I knew that if I had just bought that GMT a couple years earlier, I'd be paying far less. But I knew at the time that if I didn't get the GMT, I'd never get one because I knew that uh, I would miss the boat even further. I knew it would go up. and. That's just the way it is because the fact of the matter is they're not making the pre-ceramic anymore. That's an I iconic watch. Um, the aesthetic is, well, it's very special if you ask me. And I think a lot of people like it. And that aesthetic is really what made the history of the GMT what it is. The new Pepsi is is fine, and the, the the new GMT line is is all right, right? I mean, it's um, all right. I'm gonna piss off some people by saying it's all right. Um, they're fantastic watches, and internally, they're the height of what Rolex has to offer. Uh, but they do deviate from the aesthetic, and while they do share the same DNA, they really are a different watch, and. For that reason, I think people um, people look at the pre-ceramics in, in sort of a different and, and perhaps more favorable light. I know I do. Uh, so, because of that, uh, there's no going back. I mean, there's there's no there's 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 no more source of them. They are uh, they're a limited number and more and more people are becoming wise to the fact that uh, these are real collector items. You know, there are people like you and I who, who know what's up, um, but there are a lot of people walking around with a GMT pre-ceramic on their wrist that they don't quite know what they have. And when those people wise up, uh, they'll likely uh, hoard the watch. Uh, they probably won't sell it, and if they do sell it, then they uh, won't sell it for what these gray market dealers are paying, which is around six. And then they'll, of course, mark it up several grand. Okay, so um, they are selling for, well, if you're lucky, about $850, $8,500, nine. Okay, and that would be for a tritium dial GMT. Um, you're probably talking the black bezeled version, maybe a Coke, more for the Pepsi. Now, if you want to get one with the you know solid end links and the Luminova dial, it's going to be north of ten thousand USD, and that's a lot. And um, if you're like me you think, wow, I wish I'd gotten a Coke when I got the Pepsi. I mean, don't we all wish we could go back in time and, and make our Rolex purchases? Uh, but the fact of the matter is they are not going to get any cheaper. And we'll revisit this video in two years, but you can get one for about nine now. Now, in a couple years, let's revisit this subject. And um, I'd wager that they're going to be selling for uh, far more than 10,000 USD. Uh, they just keep going up and it makes sense because like I said, you can't get them. And, and that's just the way it is. So, um, 
if you want a GMT, now's the time to get it. Now, um, it's tough if you've paid seven for a GMT in the past to say, yeah, I'm just gonna tack on another three and get exactly what I could have a couple years ago. I hear you about that. Um, that's probably not the best way to look at it. I think a better way to look at it is uh, what is a GMT worth to you now? A GMT Coke is worth 10,000 USD to me right now. I wish I could go back in time and get one for seven. Uh, believe me, I do, but uh, I can't. Um, and so I could wait and I could want one in two years and uh, witness a price of 12 or more. Or I could bite the bullet and, and, and get one now. And uh, again, it hurts. Um, obviously, what I'm telling you is I'm kind of thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a, a Coke and I, I do want a Coke. Um, the the Tudor GMT is is great, but uh, if I could find one new at a Tudor dealer here, it would be four thousand five hundred dollars. Now that's more than I paid for my sub. That's more than I paid for my Explorer Two. And yes, it would be a new watch, but I have serious reservations paying more for a Tudor than I did for my Rolexes, um, and. I'm just more of a Rolex guy. I like the brand more. Now, Bear called the Tudor GMT uh, Diet Pepsi. Kind of funny. I, I think that's a little harsh. It's a fantastic watch, and if you have that watch, I think it's, it's uh, great. Uh, it's a very good watch, I think. I've never actually touched it or handled it. I've heard that, you know, through comments that there's some issues with the date. They'll fix it. They'll, they'll get it all tweaked and running nicely. And if you have it and you do have that problem, I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll take it in and fix it for free and all that. Um, that's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it happens. Uh, I don't know that that would dissuade me from, from getting one. What does dissuade me is that, uh, yeah, four and a half grand is a lot for a watch that you don't, quite love. And I like that watch, but I don't love it. I love Rolexes. That's what I love. I love GMTs. And so um, what I think I'm better off doing is actually just go and Coke. Now, um, I am sort of tentatively in the market for a Coke. Um, you know, I, I, this isn't like an announcement and you don't expect a Coke anytime soon, but, um, but, I, but it, it, it's just, I'm, I'm, telling you that I've come to the realization that uh, a Coke is what I want, okay? Um, more so than the, the Tudor GMT. That, that was sort of a bandage. And, you know, it was a GMT, and it was kind of Rolex-esque, and it wasn't quite as expensive. Well, I was wrong about that. It's kind of really expensive, actually. But even if, even if I could find one for 300,000 yen, which is about, uh, you know, 3,000 USD, uh, I think I think I would wear it once the novelty wore off. I think I would say, yeah, I, this is sort of not really what I wanted. I wanted the, the Coke. Um, so anyway, uh, bottom line is, is that uh, they're going up. And, uh, and so, yeah. Um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, Oh yeah, I, I did want to say this. I, I remember what I was going to say. You know, if you've seen prices in the past, it's easy to say like, I, I can't pay those inflated prices. Um, but, and as I've said, the you know, uh, GMT Coke is, is worth 10,000 to me. Um, the, the question is, is it worth 10,000? Just, you know, object objectively. Well, you can't really answer it objectively, but um, but you're talking a watch that will last years and years, you know, perhaps for the rest of your life. This is, uh, this is a really, it's, it's, 
ten thousand is a lot of money, but in terms of something that lasts as long as a Rolex does, I think if you look at it uh, in the long term, I I think it's a fair price. I think Rolex is new or fair priced, fairly priced. Um, now, while the idea of spending 10 grand on a watch hurts, I just have to remember that it's gonna go up and I could always get my money back. But that's sort of a moot point because I, I never wanna sell my watches. I mean, the idea is, well, I could sell it in the future. When, like, when, when would I wanna make that decision? When, when would I wanna sell it? Um, that would be incredibly painful. And if I'm selling a Rolex watch, it means like the shit has hit the fan. So, uh, I, while that might make the purchase a little easier to swallow, uh, it doesn't, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it, it, it doesn't really um, mean much in practice. Anyway, just thought I'd make that little video. Now's the time to get your Rolex watches, your pre-ceramic steel sports watches. They're only, they're only increasing in value, and um, you're never gonna walk in and, and, and a price for a GMT, you know, pre-ceramic be like back to seven. It's not gonna happen. When, when would that happen? When the economy could go bust and that, that wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. Or would it? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time.